Hey guys, what's up? We're gonna talk about this blaster right here, right now. All right, so hopefully, I didn't think about this black shirt and black gun. A lot of times those don't come out very well, so I will try to refrain from holding it super close so you can't see it. Hopefully there's enough light that you can actually see what's going on. Okay, so this is the blaster that we used at the Tactical Games 2019, the only one that I've ever done. Um, and I said in multiple videos leading up to this point that I was going to do a detail video on just the gun. Because I know whenever I look at gun stuff, I want to see the guns. I want to see what's going on. I want to know what you're running, what works and all that. Um, so that's what I'm going to do. My best to do it as concisely yet detailed enough to give you the information that you need. All right. So what do we got here? Starting out, the lower is a, uh, it's an M4 E1 Aero Precision Lower. This is the first time I ever used one of these lowers. I've seen them, they look cool, and it worked great. All right, there's some specific things about this, having the threaded um, take down uh, detent hole, right? So that's threaded so that you can uh, screw the screw in on the back, keeps it from coming out whenever you have the, uh, uh, if you switch stocks and all that kind of stuff. It's just an easier assembly thing as well as the, uh, the bolt catch is, or the pin for that is, it's not a pin, it's a screw, right? Um, there's also a, a uh, tension screw, right, to keep your upper and lower at the right tension so it doesn't, it's not, it's not wobbly or anything on you. Uh, I thought there was one more thing about that, maybe not. I'll think of it later if I remember. Anyway, lower parts kit, I don't remember where exactly I got it, but it's just the mil spec lower parts kit. The trigger is a Geisley SSAE, I believe is what it is. No, 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 it is not. Scratch that. It's a Geisley G2SE from Brownells. I got it from Brownells. Um, an excellent trigger, excellent. It's not too light. It's a nice, nice two-stage trigger. Very, very nice. No problems with it at all. I would, I would get this a million times over. I love it. The handguard, we're kind of not going in a general direction, but we're just starting on the lower. The hand, the handguard, the, the pistol grip is a Mission First Tactical um, hand, hand grip, pistol grip get my terms right but pistol grip i think i got it from arms unlimited i believe is where it was probably like a 15 dollars deal it's excellent i really like it it's more up and down than your standard a2 which is going to go down at, at more of a weird non-functional angle um but i really really like it it works very well for me um has enough texture on it to where you can get you know even with, with sweaty hands or whatever um you can get a good grip on it um but it's not so grippy it doesn't tear up your hand which is good Okay, um, and I don't have any issues. I, I don't know if it's I don't know if it's specifically the grip or the, the pistol grip or if it's the lower, but the way that they made up, there is no big nub right here where you fit where you get a lot of rub on a regular mil spec lower. Um, you don't get any of that. If you know what I'm talking about, you know what I'm talking about. If you don't, go shoot a, shoot an AR-15 for an afternoon. You'll know what I'm talking about if if it has that issue okay um that's pretty much the lower uh moving on the other part of the lower uh just mil spec castle nut kind of thing uh and in plate it has a qd attachment point this is one of the cheaper ones i got from somewhere it doesn't work all the time i've had some qd uh attachments that go in here that just popped right out so i don't really use it but it is what it is i'm not using it for that right now it just as an in plate um the buffer tube is from excuse me je machine tech remember a specific name on it but it has some cuts on it some angles make it look a little bit better i don't know if it actually makes it lighter or not but it just looks kind of cool sba3 brace love it no idea where i got the qd attachment or the qd uh yeah the qd i don't know where i got it, it just came from somewhere um while we're talking about that the slingster is a uh, fair concept slingster in the gray i got it to match my uh i got it to match my plate carrier um awesome i love it okay so moving Onto the upper receiver, okay? So the upper receiver, funny enough, it is a, a, a Palmetto State, a PSA upper receiver bolt and barrel, okay? So PSA made those things. So the heart of this gun, even though it's got some Gucci stuff on it, the heart of this gun is a Palmetto State, okay? If you remember back in the day, I did my, uh, my poor man's M4 clone, okay? That is this upper, okay? This is thing has been chopped. I chopped it to, kind of jumping ahead, but the barrel, I chopped it to a 12 and a half, Okay, right at about a 12 and a half, um, re-threaded it, re it and everything, works wonderfully, okay? It's a government profile, it's not it's not the best of the best out there, but dude, this thing did super well. I'm very impressed with it. It always has done very well. Um, this upper. 
Uh, but that, that, that's, that's the PSA parts, the barrel, the upper receiver, and the bolt carrier group. The charging handle is, ah, that is so nasty. Whee, um, I know what this is and I'm having a brain fart. PRI Gas Buster. This is the PRI Gas Buster, which the, I think it's called the Military Big Latch. I don't know, it's got the one with the, the knurls on it, the grooves, which is very nice. It makes a huge difference over the one that's just slick. Mm, I love this thing, works excellent, excellent, excellent. Um, something we did miss back in here, I have a blue back in the buffer. My spring is a blue spring co spring. Okay, so it's their heavy spring as well as an H, I believe it's an H3 buffer. I put three tungsten weights in it. So it's a heavy buffer with a heavy spring with a PSA bolt. The only upgrade we did to the bolt was put those, uh, is it KCI or CAC? I don't know, the one piece gas ring. We were running the one piece gas ring. With that system the way it is, this barrel is a, um, a carbine gas system, it runs very smooth for me. It runs smoother than most of my other guns, except the only ones that may be smoother are the rifle length 20 inch guns I got. It's hard to beat that for smoothness. Um, runs very well. Okay, that's pretty much this part. The rail, uh, that is a 12 inch rail from JE Machine Tech as well. So a couple things from JE, um, it ran very well no issues with it. I didn't go super dorky on my on my attachments. I just have a little attachment here for my sling, which is just a no name, no idea. I think I got it from eBay or AliExpress or some communist Chinese place, whatever, but it works and it was really cheap and it's fine. Um, if I was to go back and do it, I may get a, a uh, attachment thing for the, for the M-Lock to put it on the M-Lock rail instead of on top. It worked fine. I'm not, I'm have no issues with it. Um, the gun does heat up a little bit. It's not painful it's not un, it's not it's not that bad really um but right before the games before i actually used it i put on these uh these rail covers with a you know kind of a kind of a there's it's not it's not a angle grip obviously it's not even it's not a it's not a vertical grip or an angle grip it's more or less just a hand stop um and i really do like these it has a qd attachment right here i haven't really used it don't really need it um but i put these to where my hand naturally goes and it worked very well for me. Um, I'll put somewhere where exactly these came from. They came from Amazon, cheapest ones that I could find. They worked really good. There's some pros and cons uh, uh, reviews on Amazon for them, but they worked super well for me. Um, I'll continue to use it, works great. Um, let's see, what, have we not covered optics? The irons or polymers, whatever you wanna call them, those are Magpul um, and they, again, it's one of those things that works but would I change it? Yes. Um, thankfully, we didn't. We never had to run uh, the irons. I, they were sighted in. They worked fine. I confirmed them at 200 yards. They would have been fine. <sighs> but I prefer lower profile and steel. I like my metal iron sights. These work. They work fine. I've never had them necessarily fail on me. I just don't prefer them. Okay? We'll just say that. I don't prefer them. Um, that's the irons. The optic is a EOTech 553, I believe is what it is. I get it confused, but I believe it's the 553. I love this reticle. This thing is beautiful. The fact that it has, I have stigmatisms, all that kind of stuff, whatever, but with the true holographic EOTech sight, right? Um, hope I didn't call this a Hollison earlier, but no, with the EOTech sight, I see it very crisp, very clear. The fact that you could dial it down a little bit, um, so you can get a very precise zero, right? Um, it worked super well for me. Love it, love it, love it, love it. Um, I think that is pretty much it. The muzzle device is the uh, Surefire War Comp closed time. We will not be able to run this anymore in the tactical games. So on the 2020 games, um, if we're able to do those, I will be running a different muzzle brake or run a suppressor. Probably not run a suppressor because you're wearing ears anyway. And I just don't want that hot muffler uh, suppressor getting like melting my pants or burning my arm. It's not really worth it. Um, that's pretty much it. In all honesty, guys, this thing ran phenomenally uh, for being a home-built gun. You use quality parts where you need quality parts and you use proven parts where you can use proven parts. And I say proven parts from the, uh, the PSA stuff. Some people say PSA isn't quality. Some people say don't trust it. I can tell you personally, personally, I have Colts, right? That's the only real name, name, brand. And I got a bunch of other uh, guns and things, but we got factory built Colts and stuff that run just as well as this, or I could say this runs just as well as my Colts. 
right? It, it truly, truly does. I can tell you, I have a lot of rounds through this gun before it was in the 12 and a half con configuration when it was in the 14, seven, right? And now when it's in the 12, it has, as long as you feed it good ammo, it runs very well. It will have trouble in this configuration if you run it with steel because you got a heavy, heavy spring, a heavy, heavy, heavy buffer, a carbine length system that's kind of short because it's a 12 and a half inch. So yeah, if you run cheap steel through this setup right now, it won't cycle too well. It'll have some hiccups and stuff, okay? You put a can on it, you're perfectly good to go. You run good, uh, the ammo that I ran uh, was, where was it from? LAX, it was LAX ammo reloads. No suppressor, nothing like that on there. It ran fine. I didn't have a single malfunction when I was using that stuff, okay? As far as I remember from training with it, never had a single malfunction with the brass. When I ran in the games, never even thought about it, never worried about it, and it never gave me a hiccup. It, was, it ran like a sewing machine. Anyway, guys, if you have any questions about this thing, about this setup or what I might change, do things later. See, I don't even have a light because I didn't need one. If this is a defensive gun, it would definitely have a light. This is a game gun, as it were. Again, later on, uh, if we do different games, I more than likely will put some kind of a light on here. Um, but I'll be using a different gun, only because I want to build a different gun. So anyway, yeah, if you have any questions about this, let me know. Um, otherwise, I'm going to shut up. See, I tried to keep it short and concise, almost under 10 minutes, not quite. But uh, there you go. All right, guys, appreciate you watching. Appreciate you subscribing and all that kind of stuff. <sighs> y'all are awesome. We're getting there close to 10,000. Once we get to 10,000, I'm going to be doing some stuff over on Patreon for y'all that are over there. Five of you, seven of you that are over there. So go over there. And and if you want to give me money um, and, and be eligible for some different things I can't talk about here, go over there to Patreon. All right? Y'all be good to be safe. Catch y'all in the next video.